and gentlemen, I present to you one of the missing pages from the diary of John Wilkes Booth. Your great-great-granddaddy planned the assassination of President Lincoln. It can't be. The Civil War was a trying time for the United States of America, but even more so is what happened immediately after with the assassination of Abraham Lincoln, the sitting United States President of the time. Uh, however, there was a little bit more to the story uh, that was not included that we hear about in this movie. Of course, it is fictional, um, but this movie kind of expands on what happened um, at the assassination of President Lincoln, including Thomas Gates as having interacted with John Wilkes Booth um, to kind of, there was kind of a little bit of dialogue between the two before the assassination where Booth and his accomplice wanted to find a lost treasure uh, and Gates, when he realized that they were searching for a treasure, realized the outcome it could have on the Civil War and immediately burnt it and gave his life uh, protecting that secret. Uh, and here we are in the present time, and Benjamin Gates and his father are both, they're kind of sharing the history of how their great-grandfather was uh, one of the heroes of the Civil War. However, a doc document that had contained the, one of the missis, missing pages from the John Wilkes Booth diary has Thomas Gates' name on it as the mastermind, indicating that Thomas Gates may have helped plan the assassination attempt. Now, of course, Benjamin Gates does not believe this, and he wants to prove his great-grandfather's innocence so that they may prove that he was a hero for the American people, and that he won't be remembered in history correctly. So they find Benjamin finds that the only way that he's going to prove that his grandfather was innocent is to prove that the treasure does exist and actually go ahead and find it, which leads him, Abigail, and Riley Poole on an adventure to go find this treasure while uh, other people are trying to find it so that for their own gain to mark their mark in history, it's a race against the clock to find it, and who finds it first, and who has all the clues. Uh, Benjamin and Riley have to go to places like London. They have to go to the White House. And one of Benjamin's really big feats that he has to accomplish is uh, he has to kidnap the president to ask him about the secret book that only presidents are able to look at. And that will has a clue to finding this treasure. Sorry, Mr. President. I need to ask you a question. In the end, do they find the treasure and prove uh, Benjamin's great-great-grandfather and how many greats? I don't remember exactly. But do they prove his innocence? Or is it just a problem that we may not know? Or is he actually not innocent actually was part of the assassination attempt? You'll have to watch the movie to find out, as I'm not going to spoil that, but I wanted to go a little bit into why I thought this movie was an interesting film. I really liked the first National Treasure. It was nice to see some historic facts included into a treasure hunting movie. This one has the same type of feel, really great to include on the characters. I liked the inclusion of a little bit more about Benjamin's parents in this one, and how they were able to work out their differences and come together and work together. That was a really good thing to see, that they still loved each other and that they were able to work together to help Benjamin out. Uh, I do enjoy seeing Benjamin and Riley's friendship as they work together at, to solve the clues, as well as Abigail's help. I really like to see the friendship there. I think the action scenes are really great, and the movie is suspenseful overall. And I really like that it's not that, um, it's not got really a lot of stuff about it that are wrong. I mean, there is a couple of words, and there's a couple of scenes that are suggestive. Um, but nothing really serious. Uh, the violence is very moderate, nothing really serious either in that. But overall, this is a great movie, very entertaining and historic fiction that has really keep you on the edge of the seat. It isn't a documentary, it won't keep you bored. It's really great. What's the final clue? I highly recommend that you give it a check. Uh, check it out. I hope that you enjoy it. Uh, and then after that, I would recommend you go out and check out the new National Treasure Edge of History that is currently streaming on Disney+. Plus. That seems to be pretty good. It doesn't have Benjamin Gates or Abigail, but it does have a Riley Poole returning. So I recommend that you go ahead and check that out. And leave a comment in the comments letting me know which is your favorite National Treasure movie or series. 
Um, and let me know what your thoughts are. If we'll get a National Treasure 3, I have a movie uh, video out about kind of talking about do I think we're going to get a National Treasure 3 movie. And that I break down exactly my thoughts on that in that video. So I highly recommend you check that out as well. Thank you for listening today. And let me know in the comments if you have any other movies you would like me to review. Thank you. Wait, that could be a horrible trap. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist.